As you all know, there's certain things in life you just don't do. You don't swim with sharks while you're bleeding, you don't approach grizzly bear cubs, and you definitely don't steal from Cody. Yesterday evening, we were alerted of a possible theft. I present to you unlucky person number three. Unlucky person number three is about to have a bad day. Right here, there was sitting a nice little green crate. Used to carry guns, go figure the irony, which stopped you from stealing. You can see the, the nice weathered area that it was sitting. They were driving a white Hyundai Elantra. There he is. They saw our cameras, but unfortunately, they missed camera number 723. The more they take from me, the more I'm gonna take from them. I don't know what might have driven this. Maybe they were like trying to feed their family and their family loves eating plastic crates. I don't know, but I'm missing a plastic crate. That crate held my personal copy of the Declaration of Independence. If I were to put a price on it, probably like $13 million this Why person sold. The now I'm on my way to their house. Well, you um, got their address? There's ways that I find people. Now you may wonder what happens if they show resilience or hostility. That's the wrong way. <laughs> That's why we have fully all no, 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 what if they're at church right now and we gotta go walk into church and we're like, you stole from us? Well, it's a Tuesday, Cody, so I don't think... Maybe they're really religious and they go to church on Tuesdays. Every day. If they're really religious, they wouldn't steal. The most religious people are sometimes the least religious people. Well, that's really none of your business. This is the apartment complex. We're looking for a blue Mazda 3 with license plate... This is like a scene from The Walking Dead. What the f*** is going on? Even f***ing Walter White lives here. It's a safe place. If I find a green crate in there, I ain't even trying to get it back. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Look at all the burnouts. This is Skid this Row. Car meet people be like, oh, we got a killer spot tonight. Hey, there's so many cops around here. This must be a really good area. They're definitely home because anyone that steals doesn't go to work during the day. Right. But there's a chance that they're gone, stealing more stuff right Oh, now. right. We know that they live in this apartment complex, but we don't know which apartment. The problem is this complex covers like 25 acres. We're looking for a car that says police on the side. They stole our stuff. It's right there. Got right it. there in front of us. question them. They're probably not home, so let me pull out my lock pick. Police arrested a man they said broke into a car at a local apartment complex. Wouldn't that be ironic if that ended up at my house? Hey, is that uh, in here? No, um, 805 is the number for the whole complex oh, okay. and this apartment. All right, you probably get that a lot. All right, yeah. thank you. What a bunch of complete morons designing this place. Right? That's our guy. Wait, let me see. Yeah, that might be our guy. Because it have hail damage on the pictures. Yeah, is there any hail damage on top Pull of the car? Oh, there's apartments. There's the apartments. Yep. yep. Yes. So what's he across from? They yeah. always f*** up. Ah! Confirmed no hail way. damage? Yes. No way. Excellent. He literally has photos of him standing next to a Mazda 3 with hail damage. And they can decide to steal. Why? There's hail damage all over this car. Really? Yeah. Two miles away. This is the second address that they could be at. What the f*** is this sign? Found. What? Why is he so big? Bro is using creatine. He's probably pulling the parking yeah, spot. We're like really legal mercenaries. We're like, hold up, let me pay the parking meter before I go in and kill this guy. <laughs> we have this very precise dark haircut. And then you can see here, we have a very similar haircut. There is hail damage, obviously, all over the top of this Mazda 3. Why do you have so, to park suspiciously? Listen, listen, I'm not- Back in like a normal- I'm not parked out suspiciously. So we have the flagpole that's in the photos. So it was taken from that balcony right there. Because you can see the sidewalk think, in the picture. I'm going to take a selfie right here. And if it's comparable to Tony's selfie, that means we have the right spot. Should I have like an exact replica of this photo? <laughs> you yeah. should have gone up and got the apartment number. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, do you know if Tony lives across the hall here? No. Uh, okay. It's okay. That guy could not speak a bit of English. We found out the first address that we went to was Tony's house. We found out the car that he was using was his girlfriend's car. So we're headed to his girlfriend's house now. No car, nobody home. I rang the ring doorbell and I knocked twice. All right, I'm just gonna plow through the house. <laughs> You have something I want.
Little does Tony know that Tony is gonna be met with extreme force at the end of our driveway. We are going to casually talk with Tony. He is going to, by hand, physically put our crate right back where it came from. Should we move that one? Like hmm. I think he can move it. I said, meet me here at eight, and he said he'd be here at 7.30, so that's in 10 minutes. We also have a Homeland Security here. Um, so, uh... Um... <laughs> he just drove right by. He's come back. Hey, what's up, man? What you do for a living? It's kind of interesting. Just work really hard, man. All right, I, I gotta ask, why'd you take it? Because I do construction, and... I really thought it was f***ing trash and I say it might be a good tool box, that's yeah. what I thought. I never really let people like get away with taking my stuff, so it's, it's something that's mine that you took, so that's the reason I'm getting it back, you know? I appreciate you bringing it back very much. Probably not a good idea to steal from people though. I was watching your videos and it, I thought it was a scam because you got a bunch of followers and shit, so... Yeah, yeah, it's just, <laughs> just wrong person. Um, I understand if you thought it was trash. I get if you were construction, I think I do want you to eat this. I think the reason for having you bring it back is because I just want people to realize that like it's, it's not okay to steal. I do think that you should keep it because I've been there and, and I know what it's like to, to be in that spot. I'll put it back in your car. So are you going to need it? I got a bunch of them. It sucks that it always goes down like that because obviously they're going to immediately apologize. Then it's like, do you show them mercy or not? And it'd be different if he didn't deny it at first. It's like if he would have sent a message and immediately said like, hey man, I apologize that I thought that it was free. Then I could understand. I'm, I'm very serious. curious if he thought genuinely that it was free because we'd considered that a possibility. Maybe the tank was overkill a little bit. A little bit. 